in the last class we noticed that every person has at least one spiritual gift in the word of god the words used to designate spiritual gifts show that these are special abilities granted to a person irrespective of who and what he is and also a special gift which is not actually his natural talent each one of us is born with a natural talent some have the gift of singing others have the gift of drawing many others have many other kinds of natural talents but spiritual gift is something totally different from that it is a spiritual enabling which is given to a person so that he may be able to minister effectively in his christian life lists are given in the word of god there are a number of lists which we can compare and when we compare it becomes clear that things like gift of prayer not the normal prayer but the gift of prayer gift of giving gift of witnessing gift of teaching even the gift of counseling are part of this kind of spiritual gifts the word of god makes it clear that god grants these spiritual gifts to his children so that in conjunction with their natural abilities and also in conjunction with all what god has given them they might use these spiritual gifts for their own personal enrichment spiritual enrichment and also for ministering to others the word of god is very clear that every child of god is supposed to minister others minister to others serve others and to serve god has given special enabling or special gift so that each person might be able to serve the people of god in different areas for example a person who is gifted in teaching he is able to teach solid doctrine to god's children on the other side or on the other hand a person who has the gift of discerning the spirits is able to discern who is bringing false teaching and who is bringing right kind of teaching and he is able both to warn the church and also fight against those people who bring erroneous teachings into god's family those who have the gift of prayer in addition to their normal prayer can spend a lot of extra prayer extra time praying for god's children and also he or she can motivate others to spend time in prayer so this way the church of god which is a family and which is also a teamwork needs people with different enablings and spiritual gifts are those enablings which the spirit of god grants to people at the moment of their salvation so that they might be able to use it to serve one another that is why first peter 4:10 says each one so as each one has received a gift you should also notice that it is received word of god uses words like received given and many other words which show that spiritual gifts are given to a child of god according to god's sovereign purpose and will he does not choose them he does not ask for them he does not demand them and he does not decide what gift he is going to get god in his eternal wisdom infinite wisdom knows what is best for a person and grants that gift or gifts to that person and it is his responsibility or her responsibility to use that gift faithfully and in a proper manner so before we go further this is a question i want to ask you have you ever realized that as a child of god you have at least one spiritual gift if you have realized it have you have you been able to find out that gift have you been able to nurture it have you been able to use it if you have not been able to find it out what's the reason if you have not known about spiritual gifts what is the reason because the word of god very clearly says that there are spiritual gifts in the next class we will have a detailed look at some of these things